Um, maybe it takes a little time. Biden has never been a liberal. Please understand that. Never. He's been a centrist, just about. Matter of fact, Biden, if you look at his legislative history over, what, 35, 40 years, he was center right, always center right. Um, kind of like Barack Obama. I remember a lot of people said, well, we have Barack Obama in the White House now. He's going to be a liberal, which was a classic example of racism because everybody thought, well, you know, he's uh, African-American. He's got to be a liberal. Oh, please. Oh, God, I wish people could stop that shit. That classification based on race or appearance or what have you. Some of the most conservative folks in America are African-American. Really? Yeah. But uh, Biden has always been center right. But what has happened, I, I think a lot of the damage done by the right wing in this country over the past 40 years, horrendous damage, once they became infiltrated with these Christian fascist vermin, uh, has, has come to light. And Biden is starting to understand what the Christian right has done, and how he was part of it. Let's face it, Biden is an ardent Catholic. He really is. I mean, he's a, uh, I don't know if he's a prayer, a go-to-church-every-day Catholic, but he's an ardent Catholic. And I have no problem with that, because Biden is not trying to uh, tell me that I am some kind of scum, or I'm going to burn in hell, or my life is rotten, because I'm not an ardent Catholic. You know what I'm saying. So the fact that Biden has been center right most of his political life uh, is in stark contrast to what the left wing of the Democratic Party is pressuring him to do. This, is, this was the idea behind electing Hillary Clinton instead of the orange vomit. And Hillary Clinton should have won, but she didn't. Um, the idea was Hillary Clinton, yes, she was even more center right than Biden was. But the idea was put her in office and then apply pressure to uh, through her staff, through her advisors, through her cabinet, apply pressure to force her back to the center and then to the left. And of course, nobody ever got the chance. And I'm not sure if that would have worked with uh, Hillary Clinton. But with Joe Biden... In my humble opinion, that precisely is how it has worked. Get rid of the orange vomit, the fascist Nazi son of a bitch, Donald Trump, Donald Jesus Trump, get rid of him. Roll the dice with a center-right candidate, Joe Biden, and then have enough members of the Progressive Caucus in the Democratic Party, in positions of leadership, in positions of influence, to let President Biden know, look, man, you got to come off that center-right bullshit. You can be center if you want to, but be center-left. So that's why it, it, it's a little bit difficult to figure out what Biden's environmental policies or thoughts and feelings really are. He talks the talk, but when it comes time to walk the walk, in so many instances, he kind of backs down. But that's okay. That's okay. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.